Welcome to another episode of the Espresso Shots. My name is Roy Dining, and I'm joined here today by Sasha Narushkin from Vestact. How are things, Sasha? Things are great. I actually was at Soccer City yesterday watching the magic of Lionel Messi, so I must admit I've had to catch up and wake up very early this morning in order to catch up what is going on in the highways and byways, but people seem to be a little bit uh, lifted by the fact that the Spanish managed to get their um, bond issuance away with uh, such vigor. Um, albeit against the backdrop of some uh, U.S. jobless numbers that looked a little bit higher. Then, of course, there was uh, Tony Haywood. You can call him poor Tony Haywood um, if you're a shareholder of BP, or you can call him, um, you know, kind of uncaring if maybe you're one of those senators who were giving him a complete drubbing. I don't know. It seems to me like these congressional hearings almost seem like a headmaster's office pupil type thing, you know, and they kind of tell him how useless he is. I had a look up, and the deepest ever that a human had been in a, a suit um, was something like 381 meters, and it was a woman with a PhD in marine sciences back in 1979. And just to put it in the picture, um, this oil leak is four times deeper than that, so it can only be done with robots. So I don't know quite what they're looking to get out of it, other than maybe to get Tony Howard crying on the on the telly. Uh, but the uh, thing is, whose fault is this really? Is this really BP's fault, or is it the company who they leased it from, or you know, what is what is the big deal? It's humankind and our um, thirst for fossil fuels' fault, because you know, if we didn't need the stuff at 86 uh, million barrels a day, uh, which is uh, currently about the world usage, um, then of course uh, we would need to drill for the stuff. And just to remind people, I think uh, BP operates about 35,000 wells. So, you know, this is one world that went horribly wrong. And just another reminder that the oil price should be at these elevated levels because it's deep, dark, and dangerous to get out. Okay, on the JC front today, what are we expecting? Up, down, timid? Well, we have opened up uh, quite strongly. I mean, we're buoyed by some um, higher uh, commodity prices, um, but also some good retail sales on the local front from yesterday, which is priced to the upside. And I get the sense that there's some momentum building with this World Cup from an investor point of view because, you know, uh, people's perceptions of Africa is that it's deep, dark and dangerous, whereas perhaps the opposite is true. <laughs> Thank you very much yet again, Sasha Narishkin. Have a good day. Have a good weekend.